Good evening and welcome to MTV's news update for today, March 28, 2022. I'm Ashley Scotland. First, our top headlines. President Ali says one Guyana is not only a political concept. Over 50% of Black Belly Sheep project would include women and youths. COVID vaccination declined after removal of restrictions. And in sport, Anthony Drayton wins Geico Grand Prix chess tournament. Now for the news and details. President Dr. Irfan Ali is committed to creating equal opportunities for women and youth in the country and is of the view that agriculture must play a part in this vision. To this end, he announced that in the Black Belly Sheep Project initiative, more than half of the farmers on this project will be women and youths. Brianna Griffith reports. The Black Belly Sheep Project was launched on Sunday in Region 5 by President Dr. Irfan Ali. There, the head of state highlighted that the inclusion of women and youth in agriculture is a part of his vision to suppress bias and create equal opportunities in the country. To this end, he revealed that 20% of the farmers included in the project will be women, while 35% will be persons under the age of 35. This is part of building the future. This is part of empowerment. These are real targets and a real approach in involvement of people. So not only must agriculture be about food production, it must be built on erasing biases. Agriculture must demonstrate that it has the ability to create an equal society. This project will see some 1,000 black belly sheep arriving in Guyana over the next two weeks. And according to Dr. Ali, 78 farmers have already signed up to be a part of this project. He said this will form part of the plans to boost the region's food security and posited that Region 5 must be the livestock capital of CARICOM. To do that, we have to increase our production. We have to increase our quality. We have to improve our breed. We have to use more advanced technology. We have to invest in infrastructure. And we have to work on building the partnership. The goal of increasing mutton production blooms from engagements between Prime Minister of Barbados, Mia Motley, and President Ali. The target is to increase mutton production and its byproducts by 7,000 tons by the end of the first five years. For Yana Griffith, for MTV's News Updates. President Dr. Irfan Ali has made it clear that the One Guyana concept is not a political gimmick, but is a plan that aims at ensuring economic prosperity. Here again is Rihanna Griffith. Following some claims about the One Guyana initiative being a political gimmick meant to curry favor with citizens to gain votes, President Dr. Irfan Ali on Sunday assured citizens this is not the case. Rather, he posited that the vision aims at ensuring that every citizen benefits from economic prosperity. One Guyana is about opening up doors and creating an environment in which every sit single citizen can participate in the development and advancement of our country. One Guyana ensures that your political rights, your freedom, will always be respected. It is not dependent on that. He maintains that in order to ensure that the economy grows, it is important that all Guyanese work together, which is the whole concept behind this initiative. We have to do it together, and we are not going to fail by doing it separately. It is this type of collaboration that brings economic prosperity to your families and your communities that would lead to the strengthening of relationship at a social level. He said that achieving one Guyana must start in the home. To start in the homes. We have to show love in the homes. You have to demonstrate love to your family. Then you have to take that love to your communities, to your region. 
and then to the country. It cannot start without each one of us making a commitment. The One Guyana Initiative was announced in February by President Ali during the 12th Parliament and is being led by Prime Minister Brigadier Retired Mark Phillips. Rihanna Griffith for MTV's News Update. You're watching MTV's News Update. More news on the other side of the break. Stay with us. How fast is fiber? Think fast. GGT Fiber has three packages with download speeds of 50, 100, and 150 megabits per second. That's fast enough to stream movies and music, to chat with Gran and Fran, to study, and more. What would you do? Upgrade to GTT Fiber today and don't get left behind tomorrow. It happens. Your septic tank is full. All the waste from your toilet goes into your septic tank through the sewage line. When your tank is full, the two most common indicators are an overflowing tank and an overflowing toilet. It is recommended that Sivan's Waste Management empty your septic tank every two to three years to avoid any embarrassment. And before you can say, shh, it's gone. Call Sivan's Waste Management today at 218-1455 or 218-1156. Are you running around looking for construction materials? Well, run down to Lens for affordable, high-quality building supplies. We have the widest range of grade A floor and wall tiles in any shape, size, and designs. And all types of ceramics, porcelain glazed and full-body porcelain. We stock the largest collection of large format tiles. Check out our porcelain slabs as big as 10 feet by 4.5 feet. Add a bit of elegance with our large range of decorative molding. Our line of PPG paints will give you vibrant colors that won't fade. With our wall and ceiling gypsum system, it's light, durable and fast. So come down to Lens at 136 Cherry Street, which is next to Buddy's and Pizza Hut for that 31 years of lens quality. This is MTV's News Update. Welcome back. Guyana's Minister of Agriculture, Zulfikar Mustafa, has been elected as the Vice Chairman of the 37th Session of the FAO Regional Conference for Latin America and the Caribbean. Here is more from Lone Williams. The Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations is currently holding its 37th session of the FAO Regional Conference for Latin America and the Caribbean in Ecuador. Guyana's Minister of Agriculture, Zulfikar Mustafa, is attending the regional conference that lasts from March 28 to April 1, 2022. On the first day, Minister Mustafa was elected Vice Chairman of the Regional Conference. He was nominated by the Minister of Agriculture, Forestry, Fisheries, Rural Transformation, Industry and Labor of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Saboto, Caesar. The vote was seconded by the Minister in the Ministry of Agriculture, Land and Fisheries for Trinidad and Tobago, Avinash Singh. I take this opportunity to nominate Guyana and the Minister of Agriculture from the state of Guyana, Zolfika Mustafa as Vice Chair. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Minister. The Minister has proposed as Vice Chair His Excellency the Minister of Agriculture of Guyana, Zulfikar Mustafa. I'd like to invite the delegations to speak to this proposal. Gracias a los señores del Thanks to the delegations. Good morning. Chair, uh, a pleasure to be here. I speak on behalf of the government and people of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. I would like to second the nomination by my colleague from St. Vincent and the Grenadines to have the Guyana Minister of Agriculture uh, represent at the vice chair level. This conference will allow member countries to define their regional priorities to adapt and localize the FAO Strategic Framework 2022 to 2031 to the conditions of Latin America and the Caribbean. These countries will analyze the work done by FAO during the last two years in the region 
and agree on recommendations for initiatives and priorities that will guide the organization's work during the 2022 to 2023 period. In addition, delegates will present and discuss outstanding innovations that countries are implementing. During the 28th and the 29th, meetings with high-level authorities will be held, during which officials will be presenting and analyzing the main results obtained by the FAO in Latin America and the Caribbean during the 2020 to 2021 Benemnion. Priorities for the next Benemnion will be highlighted as well. And on March 30th to the 1st of April, a series of ministerial meetings will be hosted, during which members will exchange their experiences and process these innovations that are underway in order to show how the region is overcoming the challenge of transforming our agri-food systems and the context of the reality of each country. A national-level consultation will be held with countries and regional-level consultations with various stakeholders in order to identify areas of interest and emerging consensus in the region. Luan Williams, reporting for MTV's News Update. Vice President Dr. Bar Jagdio has reaffirmed the government's commitment to commence hemp cultivation in Guyana, with farmers in regions 6 and 10 anticipated to be among the first set of beneficiaries. More in this report. Hemp cultivation is soon expected to be legalized in Guyana, and according to Vice President Dr. Barry Jagdew, farmers from regions 6 and 10 will be among the first to be targeted for the new industry. Dr. Jagdew posited that the legislation will soon be tabled in the National Assembly, while highlighting that the government has realized that this industry can generate a lot of employment. The target region 10 and region 6 workers who are involved in Barbies and all the Belt and region 10 where you have employment to start the license people to go down. Hemp is said to have lucrative benefits and many stakeholders believe this industry will be very profitable for the country. President Dr. Irfan Ali earlier in March made a commitment to meet with the marijuana farmers to encourage them to join the new industry. Rihanna Griffith for MTV's News Adit. The government is currently considering the creation of new identification cards with advanced security features that will allow for persons to conduct their transactions at public entities easier. More from Rihanna Griffith. As part of making business transactions more secure and reliable for Guyanese, the government is exploring the creation of a new identification card. This was revealed by Vice President Dr. Barrett Jagdew on Sunday during a meeting with the Region 10 business community. Dr. Jagdew explained that the new card will consist of all the biometric features of an individual such as your fingerprints. He explained that once these cards are introduced, it can be used to conduct transactions at several Several agencies. So Guyanese, your fingerprint, so, so you use it at GRA, you use it in the banks, you use it for pension, for everything. He said the new ID card will be done separately and will not be linked to the Guyana Elections Commission. Furthermore, the Vice President assured that the government will continue to invest in the country's security with the use of advanced technology. The idea of this card was initially proposed in 2020 and was proposed to conduct transactions at public buildings. Rihanna Griffith for MTV's News Update. More news coming up after the break. Pison Windows and Doors is having a big New Year sale. Hurry now and save on aluminum sash windows with insect repellent. Going only for $14,900. VAT inclusive. Available in black or white frames. Tinted or reflective glass. Also at Beeson's, buy 10 windows and get one bathroom window absolutely free. Offer available while stocks last. So hurry to Beeson Windows and Doors. Lot 1228 Eccles Industrial Site and save. The Central Housing and Planning Authority has employed the services of Rangers and we're kindly asking you, the members of the public, for your full cooperation as we seek to bring order and semblance to communities under our management. Our Rangers are responsible for the monitoring of schemes for contravention under the Tongue and Country Planning Act and agreement of sales issued to allottees responding appropriately to reports made by members of the public or allottees in schemes where there are illegal activities in contravention of the CHMPA's policies and the Tongue and Country Planning Act. 
to undertake investigations into report on the misuse of the roads, squatting, animal nuisance and dumping of garbage and derelict vehicles in schemes, issue notices for illegal construction and letters regarding penalties to be paid for the storage of materials on the roads within our schemes. Our rangers will be properly identifiable at all times as they have all been outfitted with the agency's badge. From time to time, they will be in your community. So in order for them to function effectively and better serve you, your cooperation is needed. A message from the Central Housing and Planning Authority. Modern Optical Service has made it even better by introducing its budgeted spectacle line, starting as low as $10,000 for single vision lens and $12,000 for bifocal lens. Available in tinted or clear, complete spectacles at affordable prices. So hurry down to our main office at 316 Middle Street or Lot 14 Diamond Public Road opposite Demerara Bank. Enjoy over 60 years of eye care experience at affordable prices. Modern Optical Service, your eye care professionals. Fibertech materials are used in a multitude of ways from repairing and fabrication of auto body, fishing and household items. We have available various fiberglass mattings, resin, mold releases, brushes and rollers for all of your repair needs. We offer technical advice and free training to ensure you get the job done. For further information call us at 2206907 or 220 You're tuned to MTV's news update. The Ministry of Health is reporting a significant decline in vaccination after the government removed the COVID-19 restrictions earlier in March. Here is Lewin Williams. The government in early March removed most of the COVID-19 restrictions to allow for the safe reopening of the country. However, Minister of Health Dr. Frank Anthony on Monday said the ministry has recorded a decrease in COVID-19 testing and vaccinations since the restrictions have been removed. That can be a little bit problematic because we still need more people to be vaccinated. Uh, for as those so most regions are relatively high, um, second dose, we still have a challenge, and booster doses, we still have a far way to go. The health minister said although there has been a decline in cases, persons still need to get vaccinated to prevent them from contracting a severe form of the virus. And, you know, so that we, we make sure that people are protected. Without vaccines, they're going to have challenges and they can end up in the hospital. Over the last 24 hours, only one positive case was recorded and there are currently 87 active cases in the country. Two patients are hospitalized in the intensive care unit, ICU. So far, 65.5% of adults and 34.2% of children are fully vaccinated. Luan Williams for MTV's News Update. 30 community service officers from Maruka Region 1 are currently undergoing training in water system management. This was made possible through a memorandum of understanding that was signed early in March between the Ministries of Housing and Water and the Amerindian Affairs with the Guyana Water Incorporated. Here are the details. The training commenced earlier on Monday at the Maruka Regional Democratic Council's boardroom and will conclude on Tuesday, March 29. Some 30 community service officers, CSOs from 16 villages across the Maruka sub-region in Region 1, were trained. These CSOs will receive practical and theoretical training in the areas of water distribution systems, water sample collection, and the maintenance of photovoltaic system. The Ghana Water Incorporated GWI is executing this program in collaboration with the Ministries of Housing and Water and Amerindian Affairs. The project is being funded by the United Nations Children's Fund and the United Nations Development Program. Minister of Housing and Water Colin Crowell met with the group on Monday and urged them to take full advantage of the training. He said the training is aimed at building capacity and reducing downtime for water systems across the sub-region for lack of expertise. 
According to the minister, the training is a timely one as the sub-region will be benefiting from significant investments in the water sector over the next eight months. Water wells will be drilled in the communities of Waramuri, Haima Cabra, Habodia, Kaburi, Manawarin, Quebana, and two in Santa Rosa, all to expand coverage. In addition to this, the path rig, which was procured by GWI for the drilling of wells, arrived earlier this morning in Maruka to commence works. Luan Williams from MTV's News Update. Here is tonight's court roundup. Accused of stealing a number of appliances from a church, was today denied bail and remanded to prison. Jamir Shaw was hauled before Senior Magistrate Liron Daly in the Georgetown Magistrates Court and denied the charge when it was read to him. The charge stated that between March 22 to 23, 2022, at Trinity Methodist Church at Leopold Street, working Rust, he stole one MP50 TV valued at $120,000, a DVR value at $42,000, and an LG amplifier value at $40,000. He also stole one Gemini amplifier valued at $45,000, a hard drive worth $24,000, and two wall fans worth $30,000. After listening to the facts of the matter, Magistrate Daly remanded the accused until April 25, 2022. Luan Williams reporting for MTV's Court Roundup. We now take a look at Tips for Healthy Living, brought to you with the kind compliments of Dabby's Variety. Boss, I get you milk. Fall apart, fall apart. This is the long milk pie. Ah, oh, boss. I Confucius say milk is the key to health and power. Boss, milk is milk, man. <laughs> Natura milk is the best milk on the market. Yeah, Natura, 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 Natura. Yeah. Bring the slim and healthy, slim and healthy. the full cream. Holy cream, holy cream. Natura milk powder is a better milk. Here's everything you need to know about tuberculosis. What is tuberculosis? Tuberculosis, or TB, is a bacterial infection that spreads through inhaling tiny droplets from the coughs or sneezes of an infected person. It mainly affects the lungs, but it can also affect any part of the body, including the tummy, abdomen, glands, bones, and nervous system. TB is a potentially serious condition, but it can be cured if it's treated with the right antibiotics. Signs and Symptoms If you've contracted TB, then you might exhibit some or all of the following symptoms. A persistent cough that lasts for more than three weeks and usually brings up phlegm, which may be bloody. Weight loss, night sweats, high temperature, tiredness and fatigue, loss of appetite. If you suspect TB, then you should probably visit a doctor to receive a proper diagnosis. Causes. In most healthy people, the body's natural defense against infection and illnesses, that is, the immune system, kills the bacteria and there are no symptoms. Sometimes the immune system cannot kill the bacteria, but manages to prevent it from spreading in the body. You will not have any symptoms, but the bacteria will remain in your body. This is known as latent TB. People with latent TB are not infectious to others. If the immune system fails to kill or contain the infection, it can spread within the lungs or other parts of the body, and symptoms will develop within a few weeks or months. This is known as active TB. Latent TB could develop into an active TB disease at a later date, particularly if your immune system becomes weakened. Treatment With treatment, TB can almost always be cured. A course of antibiotics will usually need to be taken for six months. 
Several different antibiotics are used because some forms of TB are resistant to certain antibiotics. If you're diagnosed with pulmonary TB, you'll be contagious for about two to three weeks into your course of treatment. You will not usually need to be isolated during this time, but it's important to take some basic precautions to stop the infection from spreading to your family and friends, such as wearing a mask or partial self-isolation. Of course, there is also the option of being vaccinated for TB. The BCG vaccine offers protection against TB and is recommended for babies, children, and adults under the age of 35 who are considered to be at risk of catching TB. The BCG vaccine is not routinely given to anyone over the age of 35 as there is no evidence that it works for people in that age group. Boss, I get you minute. This is the long milk pie. Oh, boss. I Confucius say milk is the key to health and power. Boss, milk is milk, man. <laughs> Natura milk is the best milk on the market. Yeah. Natura, Natura. Natura, Natura. Yeah. Bring the slim and healthy. Slim and healthy. And the full cream. Holy cream, holy cream. Natura milk powder is a better milk. Science Jane MTV's Sport Update comes up after the break. Stay tuned. Region Paint from the U.S., a brand that's recognized worldwide. Special wholesale prices starting at $3,400 for the emulsion and $3,800 for the oil. Four gallons bucket for just $12,000. Also, the Royal Paints were crafted for people with a budget. Special introductory price on the semi-gloss top coat for just $1,500 per gallon and the roof and floor paint for just $5,500 for 1.5 gallons. Come and visit our showroom at Lot 140B Quamina Street or call telephone 622-0601 or 504-3908 for more information. Grab onto these special prices with 30 shades and more to choose from while stocks last. Let's paint Guyana, everybody! You can be a millionaire by only spending $100 on a Daily Million ticket. Simply pick any five numbers from 1 to 26, or you can buy a quick pick for your chance to win the Daily Millions. Purchase your tickets daily Monday through Saturday to get a chance to win $1 million every day. So, feeling lucky? Then buy a Daily Millions ticket today. Remember, a ticket today could make you rich today. Are you building or renovating your home? Then come to Beeson for a wide range of aluminum and UPVC windows and doors. Get from single hung sash, on it, casement, sliding windows, plus sliding and swinging doors. All our products can be customized and fitted with insect screens and are sealed tight to withstand harsh weather conditions. At Beeson, we also carry commercial, glass and French doors, showcases, aluminum louvers, curtain walls, aluminum reels, plus sliding and frameless shower doors. So look no further. Visit our showroom today at lot 1228 Echoes Industrial Site or call 622-4197 or 623-4197. Peace on windows and doors. Filled with pride in Guyana by Guyanese. Get the right seal right now from Industrial Supply of Guyana, Inc., your immediate SKF sealing solutions. The SKF seal jet machine is capable of building seals from 5 millimeter to 600 millimeter in diameter in under five minutes. With technical support readily available, you can get a customized seal to suit virtually any industrial application, like buffer, rod, wiper, and piston seals. SKF seal jet machine, now at Industrial Supply of Guyana, Inc. The Guyana Chess Federation concluded its first over-the-board tournament last weekend with FIDE master Anthony Drayton unbeaten in the eight-round battle tournament. 
The chess tournament is the first of several tournaments which will determine the theme for the 44 Fight Chess Olympiad Games to be held in Chennai, India on July 28 to August 10 of this year. Drayton, one of Guyana's top-ranked players, secured 7.5 points against his counterparts with his half point, resulting in his one draw against second place winner and seasoned player Adrian Rupnerein. Rupnerein ended with six points after he lost to veteran player Loris Nathu and also drew with third place winner Davian Mars. Mars gained 5.5 points after also drawing with Ethan Lee and Loris Nathu. His only loss was against Anthony Drayton. Loris Nathu came in fourth with 5.5 points as well and suffered his only loss against Drayton. Karen Sandiford copped the best junior prize also with 5.5 points after he losing to Drayton and Mars and drawing with Ethan Lee. Chelsea Ajuma was presented with the best female prize and Pooja Lam received the best junior female prize. Trophies and cash were presented to the top three finishers and medals were given to the fourth to ten place winners who were Lois Natu, Kieran Sandiford, Ethan Lee, Olawardi Oyepipo, Jaden Taylor, Chelsea Ajuma and 12-year-old Arsh Ragunath, respectively. Female player Jessica Callender was unable to continue the competition due to an accident on the way to the final day of the Games. Anon Ragunath, vice president and five arbiter, encouraged the talented young Guyanese chess players to continue to train in the game of chess as well as to be involved in the other aspects of the Federation. Reporter for MTV Sports Update, Rihanna Griffith. Max Verstappen won an intense race-long battle with Charles Leclerc to take his first victory of the season in the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. The Red Bull driver passed the Ferrari with four laps to go after the two had duel during a tense race. This is according to BBC Sport. The battle occasionally bordered on farce as the two slowed down almost to a stop at times to try to work the DRS overtaking zones to their advantage but first stop and edge it by 0 0.5 seconds after making the decisive move. The two were in a league of their own out front as Ferrari's Carlos Sainz and Red Bull's Sergio Perez took third and fourth. George Russell finished fifth for Mercedes ahead of Alpine's Everson Ocon and McLaurin's Lando Norris. Lewis Hamilton recovered from starting 15 to finish 10th. Canada on Sunday qualified for the World Cup for the first time in 36 years with an emphatic 4-0 victory over Jamaica in Toronto. Victory in Toronto means Canada are assured of finishing in one of the top three places in the final stage of CONCACAF qualifying for Qatar 2022. This is according to BBC Sport. Their last World Cup appearance came at Mexico 1986, where they finished bottom of their group without scoring. Sky Lauren and Tajon Bushanan put Canada 2-0 up at halftime before Junior Hollett and Adrian Mariapa own goal sealed the victory. It led to joyous celebrations from the sellout crowd at BMO Fields as Canada clinched World Cup qualification for only the second time. English coach John Herman, who led the Canadian women's team to successive Olympic bronze medals in 2012 and 2016, has guided Les Rocks to Qatar in his first qualifying campaign in charge. The United States, Mexico, Costa Rica and Panama are all in contention for the final two automatic CONCACAF qualification spots for the 2022 World Cup, which starts on the 21st of November. Mexico and the U.S., who face El Salvador and Costa Rica respectively on Wednesday, need only a draw for their final qualification game to book their spots in Qatar. Costa Rica in fourth place would need a big win against the U.S. and for results to go their way to finish in the top three. The fourth place country in the eighth team table earns a playoff against the winner of Wednesday's final of Oceania qualifying between the Solomon Islands and New Zealand. Reporter for MTV Sports Update, Rihanna Griffith. That brings us to the end of Sport Update, which is brought to you with the kind compliments of ISG. More after the break. Over the years, ISG has been providing all sectors across Guyana with quality products and outstanding customer service. Proud distributor of NP and Ultra lubricants, engineered for tropical conditions. International trucks and parts, leading the change. SEM machinery. 
a Caterpillar brand, SKF bearings and mounted products, NAPA batteries, Tide power generators. Discover the greatest source of power. Industrial supply of Guyana Inc. The best opportunity to make the right choice. And that brings down the curtain in tonight's newscast. But before we go, here's a reminder of our top stories. President Ali says one Guyana is not only a political concept. Over 50% of black belly sheep project to include women and youths. COVID vaccination declined after removal of restrictions. And in sport, Anthony Drayton wins Geico Grand Prix chess tournament. Catch our broadcast tomorrow at 6 hours 30. Don't forget to like our Facebook page where the news can be viewed live at 19 hours 30. On behalf of our news and technical teams, Ashley Scotland, saying stay safe and goodbye for now.